Okay, let's talk about the basics of the duodenum. The duodenum begins um, at the pylorus on the right side um, of the stomach and ends at the duodenojunal uh, junction on the left side. So here's the duodenojunal junction here, and we can notice that it is a, a C-shaped um, organ, and it goes around the uh, head of the uh, pancreas. And the duodenum consists of four parts. Um, it is important to note that parts two, three, and four are retroperitoneal. And the first part um, is, or the superior part, is anterior lateral to the body of the first um, lumbar vertebrae. Now notice that there are four parts of the duodenum. There is the superior, the descending, and the horizontal, and the uh, ascending part. So looking at this picture, let's point out some important vessels. Uh, first, we can't see the names at the top, but we can see the structure. And this is the area of the um, hepatic uh, portal vein, we can see here, right here. And we can see the um, hepatic artery, and also the bile duct. And we can see lymph nodes in this area. And coming down to this area, we can see the right gastroamental artery. And over here are the uh, superior mesenteric um, vein and artery. And on this side, things we should uh, take note of, especially, um, is the middle colic artery. And the splenic vessels. Another important thing to note here is that although the hepatic artery is bringing the oxygenated blood um, in to the liver, um, oh, it's only supplying 20 to 25 percent of the blood, whereas the uh, portal vein is supplying 70 to 75 percent um, of the blood flow um, into the uh, liver.